Let's go over common then steps. The nature of a then step mainly evolves around the assertion phase of said script and thus validates the outcome of said journey being covered. As like before, we have two common then steps here. First, we have a then step that handles asserting that we have arrived at a specific page and the content has loaded by asserting against a piece of content that will have loaded on the page and proves the page is working as expected. This occurs by having an initial parameter to be utilised to assert that a specific header on the page is being displayed, followed by the optional wording of either page or text to add further readability to the step in question, but also to perhaps utilise this to indicate if we want to assert against different types, for example, text, header, hyperlink, to name a few. The next step that we have is one that has quite a few parameters, parameter usages containing four total parameters and fully taking advantage of what you can do with regex and step customization. As you can see, initially we have the parameter to assert by textual value so that we can find an element by textual value and assert that this is being either displayed or clickable as indicated in the final parameter for this step. In between to add further context we have a further optional wording for indicating the content type as well as if we want to reverse the assertion whereby we want to indicate that the button for example is not clickable. So as you can see this step provides quite a bit of flexibility in, in one step that would then serve multiple purposes within the associated methods that we would write in the POMs that we create. As a quick example here are the different combinations that we can have this step and utilize accordingly to the requirements needed. Let's proceed to apply these steps to the common steps dot feature file basics type 2 script that we have been working on over the past two videos. As you can see so far we are at the page but perhaps we would like to assert that the form title is displayed so we would proceed to add the first common then step in to assert that the page is loaded via the content that is displayed. This isn't always necessary as interactions with elements can prove a similar thing, but having the dedicated assertion aids in the output. Next, you will notice that after the contact us button is click clicked, the fields and the button is no longer displayed. So we could take advantage of our further common then step here and write a step that assures that the contact us button is no longer displayed or clickable, as well as adding in a further then step from our first want to get against the textual value that is outputted as the message indicating the form has been submitted as our final journey end assertion. We have sh shown two then steps here that have multiple multi-purpose usages and can be common for your framework. Thank you for watching.